Yeah, who I am and where do I come from and uh, who and what influenced me. And I think that's a very important question everyone has to uh, question themselves because uh, if you understand who you are, if you understand where you're coming from, um, you will understand why you act like you act and uh, probably you, you can easily or more easily design your future by yourself. So, um, two completely different personalities uh, had a big impact on me. And uh, first, my father, and uh, he's an architect, and he taught me to focus on, on one idea and to avoid decoration in my work. Uh, he's a very pragmatic and success-oriented person and very strict. And quite to, the opposite to him is my mother. And from her, all the empathy, the humor, the honesty, the respect and the deep love and trust in myself comes from her. So they both trusted in me and helped me to become who I am uh, by somehow supporting and respecting me in my decisions, even if they didn't understand what I'm doing. So um, I think it's very important to, to, to show them here because uh, who I am is, is and what I do is because of them. And uh, they taught me that I'm, I'm really responsible for what I'm doing and that I can have a positive influence on my environment. <laughs> Three minutes, okay. Speed up, Ike. So, I studied graphic design in Darmstadt. That's, um, the university is following the idea of Otto Eicher and Max Bill and the Ulmer School. And um, somehow the modernized Bauhaus. And I thought the revolution is happening there when I go to university. But after two weeks, I found out this will never happen. It was all about learning the past and not about questioning it. Sure, I mean, we should learn from the past. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. We should learn from the past. Um, that's the knowledge we, we really need to have. But it was all about repeating what other, what other people were, say, uh, were telling you and not about supporting you to find your own voice and visual language you could possibly contribute to society. So I really wanted to be a scientist and not a romantic reproducer. And, um, and as a scientist, you have to ask questions to seek for new solutions. Society is, so, uh, is changing so quickly, and hence communication. So what was maybe right in the early 70s doesn't need to be right nowadays. So in 1992, I quit university right before my diploma and became uh, the art director of a Frankfurt-based record label named uh, Logic Records. And it was owned by... Американская фирма Transceptor Technology приступила к производству компьютеров персональный спутник. Yeah, by these guys, by the band Snap. And um, I mean, it's, it's a dream to start your career as a graphic designer for music. And... Uh, and because, uh, especially because music is something that is part of your culture, it doesn't hurt anyone. And it's uh, a great field for graphic designers to experiment and, um, and to develop yourself. And uh, the way this, this, um, this band influenced me was um, how they built up this company. It was all about, it was not about money, for sure. I mean, in the end, it's about money because we have to eat, but it was all about. Um, creating a space where people work together, where people take care of each other. And somehow it's a blueprint of my own company. And, um, but a year later, I, I quit my job and uh, started my own studio uh, with the name Hort. And um, Hort is an old German word for, for kindergarten or after school club. Uh, kind of a safe place where I can play and work and still grow. And and uh, most important, where I can decide for whom I work, with whom I work, and the way I would like to work. Um, I, did a, oh, time again. I did a workshop um, 
together with Anthony Sherritt in a school here in London. No, it's outside London. And um, we did a creative uh, workshop with kids between four and, and, and 11. And um, this little book is it's from there. It's, we named it After School Club. Um, and uh, it was so interesting to see how kids um, become creative. And it's all about, I think it's all about um, that they just have to feel safe. And when they, see, when they feel safe, they start to play. And um, playing is somehow a very a highly creative um, energy. And by playing, they learn. By playing, they grow. And um, so I think Hort is, an, is, a, is a perfect name for my studio. And uh, I'd like to... Does someone have kids here? Um, so I had no experience how to, or knowledge how to run a studio. I had no business plan, no strategy, what I want uh, or where I want to be in five years. And I never thought about that I would ever stay on stage and talk about my work. It was not my purpose. It, it, was, it was all about, you know, um, somehow having fun. And when I opened my, my studio, um, I'm a really very simple guy. I, I, I wrote down some, some rules that are important for me. They sound a little bit naive, you know, like, okay, first one, have fun. Second one, get paid. I think that's very important because it's not about just fun. It's also about making a living out of your fun. Don't work with assholes. I mean, everyone says that, um, but it's all about respect for me. If someone doesn't respect me, I don't want to work with him. Um, only accept work that challenges you and you can build up a relation to. Don't work for people, but with people. Be honest to your client and yourself, and keep on searching and exploring. And um, the last one is down there, you can't see. Something happened. Um, I think the type, uh, whatever. Um, the last one is uh, quit when you don't have fun anymore. So, um, I'm not there, still having fun, so, yeah, and I'm still following those, um, those rules. And so, that's how I started, like, working by myself, designing hundreds of record sleeves, enjoying life, becoming successful, and well-known in this business. Um, I was saying no to a lot of well-paid opportunities where I thought I would sell my soul if I would accept them. And... Um, but suddenly, uh, it happened that after a couple of years, I just got a, into a burnout and um, I couldn't work anymore. And uh, it was really a hard moment for me because I found out that I'm, I'm very limited with my possibilities. And um, I used to be a athlete when I was young. I don't look like this anymore, but when I was young, I was an athlete. And from, from that time, I really learned that I just have to train hard to reach my next goal. And, uh, but in this case, uh, uh, there was no chance to, 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 to move on, to develop. And um, this was a hard moment for me to, to uh, find that out. And um, so I stopped working for a while, uh, reflected on me, uh, who I am, what I do, what will be the next step. And somehow I accepted my limitation. And uh, that's the biggest freedom... Um, I ever feel um, accepting my own limitation um, helped me to open me up and so I thought okay let's open up the studio and make this place a safe place for other people and work together with people who are much better than I am because by working together with them I will have the chance to learn from them. So that's how I opened up the studio and now we look like this. And I think that's an very, also a very important picture because um, uh, that's me, a German factory, working hard, and this is hard right now. And it's all about the people. It's, I mean, I'm working with them, but it's, it's about them. And uh, I try to um, design uh, the job around them. It's, it's, it's not about that we make just business. It's about how, how can I support them in um, designing their own life and their own visions. So 
they're all, I keep them all individual. Uh, usually a, a company is built up like a triangle, so there's a head guy, um, and he tells everyone what to do. Uh, we don't have hierarchies in our studio. It's all about that everyone is a creative person and everyone can contribute to our process. So um, we even don't say interns anymore when they are interns because um, if they have a great idea, I easily can step back from my ego and say, okay, we go for your idea. So I think it's all about um, how can I support these personalities um, because I just don't want to have a clone of myself. I don't like to work with people who design in the same way I do. I don't want to work with people who think this, the same way I do. Uh, it doesn't help me and, at all. So some of them, I, I, I really work now since more than 12 years, and I have a very strong connection to all of these people. Um, if they, when, they, um, when they leave my studio, I really feel like a father Uh, who has to say goodbye to someone, but we stay in contact and, um, and there's a big hole after, after they have gone. So this is some of the work we have done so far. Um, I think that's nearly the only work I will show today. And um, it does have sound. Yeah, it does have sound. And I'm fearful, I'm fearful, I'm fearful of flying And flying is fearful of me And I covered my eyes when she told me the news Turning me on with my lightsaber cocksucking blue Are you coming? 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 You get in stain on account of a crutch And I'm aching from fucking too much And I know what I do and it all points to you Did you sell me to Wanderlust? I'm fearful, I'm fearful of flying, and flying is fearful of me. And I covered my eyes when she told me the news, turning me on with my lightsaber cocksucking. Are you coming? 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 Um, now we are not a German studio anymore. Um, I mean, I started alone, but now we have uh, we are 11 designers, and uh, one uh, it's Lizzie. She's uh, my my assistant, and she's uh, running the studio a little bit. So uh, at the moment, uh, these are the flags from the nations where the people are coming from. They come from Hawaii, Canada, England, Switzerland, uh, South Korea, Czech Republic, Austra Australia, France, and Germany. And it's so interesting to work with people from, from other countries because um, they bring all the uh, education to you. Um, when we cook together, it's, it's really a nice mix of, of, of the world and, uh, and uh, our usual language and studio is English. So I don't feel very connected. I mean, I'm from Germany, but I don't feel uh, I'm a German studio. And that's, uh, that's a good thing, I think. So those are the people. And it's funny because uh, I speak a lot on conferences. I mean, we are kind of a circus that touring around. It's a bit strange because um, that's not my usual job. Um, but I spoke in a conference last year in Australia, and it was about optimism. And I think when, when, when there's a crisis, we always try to make this crisis look good. So it was like optimism. And a lot of people were talking about how good it is to be a creative person and, you know, how great it is. And it's all about head, uh, blood from your 
from your heart and, and passion and, and come on, I mean, it's, it's a tough work, uh, it's a tough job. And, um, and so I thought, okay, um, it's about optimism, so, so let's make a photo uh, of, a, of, of us, um, a graphic design studio that looks optimistic into the future. And um, um, it's, it's a little bit inspired by a movie with James Dean. Uh, the name of the movie is Rebel Without a Cause. But the funny thing is the German translation, sometimes the German translations are really strange. Um, it says, denn sie wissen nicht, was sie tun. And that means because they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> and... Uh, and to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, working together with people is something very special. Um, and um, after a while, uh, having this team around me, uh, I came up with some phrases that are so important for me. And the first one is respect them like you want to be respected. I think respect is really the foundation of our work. And uh, it's a lot about um, who are you, who am I, and how can we uh, work together. So respect is most important. Second is let them be who they are. Diversity is the key of growing. Um, don't push them in a direction. Uh, support them in um, their possibilities. Trust them from the bottom of your heart. I think trust is really uh, another big foundation of our work. Um, I trust in them. Um, I know that they are good. I know that they are very creative. I know that they are good people. So I let them work. It's not, I'm not controlling them. I'm not trying to push them um, to do things they don't want to do. I always used to say to them, surprise me. And that's something totally different than if, we, if I would say, make, make it good. Because make it good, it's always related to me. Uh, I mean, surprising me is also related to me, but they have to put in their own personality in their work that surprises me. So. Um, they should do something with, their, uh, with soul. Let them fail and learn. They will gain strength and self-confidence. And I think that's also very important. Failing is, is uh, the engine of, of, of moving forward. And um, a big client of us um, in the U.S. asked us to design a mural. A mural? Mural? Oh, God. <laughs> when, when Germans speak English. <laughs> you understood what it is, huh? A wall. <laughs> um, and um, the entrance of, of this agency, and they asked us to, um, um, to design this, uh, this wall saying failing is not an option. And I, I had to tell him, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that because uh, this is really hard for your employees, you know, to walk in every morning and read this sentence, failing is not an option. I mean, it sounds okay. You know? But it's really, really hard. Yeah? So failing is really something very important. So I give them the chance to, to, to try things and uh, to don't worry that it might not work. Give them as much freedom as you can. Let them, let them go and support them by following their own paths. That's, um, that's also something I had to learn because I, I'm a very romantic guy. I think uh, I can stay with people forever, but um, it's just not like it is. So, so a lot of people in my studio uh, have their own visions and I try to support them. Like guys, these guys here, uh, Jacob, and Jacob, Jacob Klein and Nathan Cohen. They met uh, in the studio when they, when they were doing an internship and they became friends and they started um, an internal blog named uh, Holland. Um, maybe you know that blog. And um, before, uh, in the beginning, it was an internal blog, just uh, a mood board. And then they made it public, and it became very successful. And um, I tried to support them uh, then in what they were doing. And now they have a little uh, studio named Holland Services, and they do art direction. And uh, so I don't fear that they are competitors, um, I try to help them to become strong and uh, to make it run their own studio. Um, yeah. And an, uh, another two guys, Tim and Tim, um, I work with them, 
I met them when they were 17 and 18, or 18 and 19, and uh, we worked together since, since then. And they run, they have their own art, um, art group together with uh, Rebecca and Dennis. And uh, they, they, besides my studio, uh, the studio work, they also do um, art, whatever that means, but stuff like this. Um, and I think that's very important because we, we have a very strong connect, we are very strong connected to art. I think art is something uh, that inspires us a lot. And by um, being interested in art, um, you, you will find moments where, that you can translate into your work. Uh, so I support them uh, in what they're doing. Yeah, this is also... It's a nice t-shirt, huh? Okay, I have to hurry up. I have to hurry up. I go through all this. This is all not st uh, commercial stuff. This is all stuff that we, we are doing for ourselves. Um, the thing is that, that um, we spend a lot of money for ourselves. Um, like we, we, we do parties, we do um, uh, dinners and all these things. Um, we won once the Art Directors Club in, in Germany and we found out that this... Um, this award didn't help us at all. It just cost money. So we said, okay, um, we don't do that anymore. We don't support uh, awards anymore. We save the money and spend it on ourselves. So, um, it, yeah, I go through that quickly to the last part of my presentation because I think um, that's also something that, that, uh, that is very important that we, that we are still searching and trying to uh, find new things that inspires us ourselves. Um, I, I worked for the music industry now since 18 years, and I always wanted to have my own band, but I'm just not playing a guitar, and I'm, my voice is not the, the best one. So um, I never did that. So, but I have a lot of um, I have a lot of um, knowledge on how to um, create a space, a visual um, world around bands. So I thought, okay, let's let's create our own band, and the band's name is Horde. And um, so we wanted to do it differently. Um, if you if you start um, creating a band, it's all about um, the music. It's all about um, recording and producing music and then selling it. Um, it's not working like this anymore nowadays. Um, and what I'm missing a little bit is if I go to a concert, everything. And um, what I will see there, I have already seen on YouTube. Uh, and somehow it doesn't really surprise me anymore. And uh, I thought, okay, why not create a band that creates moments and, I, and we can share these moments with, with people. Um, so what we did was first we created the, the, the story behind this band. Um, who are they? Where do they come from? Uh, how do they look like? And these are early sketches of the band. Uh, what is connected to them? What kind of tools could they use? Um, for sure, we created a logo. We created a logo, and this is our band shirt. Does anyone want to have a band shirt? Oops, I'm sorry. And, um, and then we created the costumes based on the concept. The concept is um, that the band is wearing a full body costume so you don't see who they are. And um, the idea is um, that there is not an existing band. It's just, um, it's just the idea. And we curate who's playing the band. So this is um, Sylvan. He's an old spirit from nature, an aviation, a pathway that transports light to our soul. This is Unda. He's like water streaming through time and space. And this is Anvari, and he's carrying the power of Mother Earth. <laughs> and this is a band. And I have some photos. And um, so. So the band only comes alive for one moment and we create 
this moment. That's the idea behind it. Okay. So the first concert we uh, we did was in in. Um, in Brazil, in uh, Barcelona, and we created an exhibition, and part of this exhibition is the band, and um, so we had different views on the band. We had um, we invited some artists to to develop work for that exhibition, and uh, we also developed work for that, and I just go through some of the images, some of the work, and um, it was just. An exhibition, and within this exhibition, on the opening ceremony, um, the band was playing. And after the band was playing, um, the costumes were there, and uh, the band was gone. So, just go through that. It's not online yet, so that's something we haven't seen. And the first band. Um, we have chosen well, three musicians from, from Switzerland. And so on and so on. And um, so the band only plays once. They produce the music just for this event. And if you go there and if you are invited, uh, you don't know what kind of music there will be. And you don't know what will happen. So it's all about sharing something with you guys. That's the idea behind it. There's no um, money involved. We just invest in that. We don't uh, earn money with, money with that. But it inspires us a lot the work we're doing there to create these kind of moments. And at the moment we have, um, we have been working for half a year on the next concert. And this is like, a, we did the first test uh, three weeks ago at our summer party. And, um, and gentlemen, this is a little documentation of it. It's not, not well done, but it's okay, I think, to show it. Uh, big wall next to our studio and we screened um, on these walls um, the visuals that were produced while doing the music.
that's so that's just fun for us um, uh, to work on, on things like this and to share it with people. And uh, the next concert will be uh, in Germany, so I think most of you will not be able to go there. Um, but I will let you know on our website. I have, um, as I, yeah, I don't have that much time, but uh, we, we love screen printing. I brought some screen prints from us. So uh, trying to be cool is so 80s. Um, maybe, some, <laughs> maybe someone likes to have that. Yeah. I think that's, uh, that's the last um, uh, slide I show you. I like to invest um, in relationships r rather than success and money. And I think that's, that's most important for me, that, um, that it's all about people. I don't work for brands, I work with people. And uh, <clears throat> so I put a lot of energy into developing, this, developing these relationships. So um, yeah, I thought I was the last one, so be brave and uh, do something good while being on planet Earth. Thank you.